Uh, before I start the video, I just want to make sure that I understand us. You know, I want to make sure that me and the audience, we can connect. And uh, you clicked on a video wondering if it's worth your time to watch Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm not really sure if you've uh, watched film nowadays, but they're pretty much garbage. So I understand that you're kind of feeling like, Mm, should I watch a trilogy when it's usually heartbreak? Uh, and the answer is yes. If you're here to just witness my thoughts and opinions on the new movie that just came out that I watched on opening day by myself and bought not only like the most expensive ticket, but the ones that, you know, on the theater, they have lights and so forth that don't really add too much, but some light at certain moments. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely worth your time, okay? I repeat, I watched it on opening day by myself because I usually don't spend my time going to theaters because, you know, they're overpriced, uh, the movies suck, and uh, I usually just wait. We don't watch movies because movies nowadays always have an agenda to push you to think like the chaos that we live in right now. And for me, video games and movies are meditation time. You know, it's therapy. So I want to escape the chaos, but it's hard to escape that when you're constantly reminded within the movie. Now, if you're still watching this and you want more further insight, the movie is bomb, like phenombomb.com. I started the movie thinking, dang, I really hope it doesn't have that trilogy curse. You know, the one where the first one's good, the second one's I, and the third one's dog. It didn't actually go that way. My expectations were obviously like neutral. It's Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. I mean, he's coming back as Wolverine and you, you have little expectations that you saw in the film. Like, yeah, he's going to wear his yellow suit. But before we go further into this video, I just want to make sure and make sure that one thing's very clear. There is no spoilers here. This isn't really me talking to the audience about my review. This is me hopefully letting you guys know that this is appreciation, like a love letter to the whole team of Deadpool and Wolverine, like Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Sean Levy, and everyone, like, thank you. Like, thank you for taking the risk and going against the agenda of today's world. Because I sat there in my seat by myself, anticipating what's gonna happen, the opening scene, bomb. Every time it tries to explain to the audience how the story is going to go through or, you know, where we are in the story. And then it's just action after action, a little bit of cameo, sugar and spice makes everything nice. When I talk about these cameos, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it reminded me and brought me back to the days of being a, like a little kid, picking up my first comic and reading like Civil War and playing Avengers Ultimate Alliance, those video games. Like I really felt like a kid. And, and as a Canadian, I connected with Ryan Reynolds when I was growing up. And especially, you know, watching like Blade Trinity and that awful X-Men movie of him as Deadpool. It like really made sense that he fits that character, right? And Deadpool is like one of my favorite, or actually it's a top five of my favorite heroes. And in that top five, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he also gave us something that I wasn't actually anticipating until I saw it on screen and I felt such love in my little kid heart and I just wanted to thank like the team uh, Ryan Reynolds Hugh Jackman and all of them like I just wanted to thank you for just making me relive those dreams and and the vision of maybe one day I'll see it on the big screen and not a lot of movies cater to the audience or cater to the fans and I feel like you really did and I felt actually I still feel but I felt really happy leaving the theater and that was the first time that I felt like my money didn't go to waste but it didn't feel like that when watching that film because I was filled with people that had the same energy and were you know leaning forward they were kind of like wow you know like having hands together they were watching it and I, even though I didn't know them I can feel that energy and I felt like I was filled with that love and energy for the film. So it didn't really matter what, whether I saw it with a group of friends or by myself, because I didn't feel alone. And so if you're like wondering like, oh, is this going to be the same old like crap Marvel movie that we've been seeing? I would say stay away from the internet. Hopefully you don't see any spoilers and you just go see it yourself on the biggest screen. And if you can pull over some extra bit of cash, make it an experience get everything that you think that a movie theater should be you know like i'm in my 30s so like popcorn candy drink whether you buy that and shove it in your backpack or buy it from the it doesn't matter but like have the full experience the movie really does a great job in delivering it for the fans for those who love comics for those who love the lore a lot of things that we love in today's tv shows the witcher uh, star wars they get 
they get changed because of the writer's ego. And and the way that I saw the film was, even though it's Deadpool and Wolverine, they still took a back seat a little bit to showcase all the cameos, the the story, the feeling, and and gave us what we want, like action, less dialogue. But every time there was dialogue, impactful dialogue funny oh i just i just can't stop thinking about it and it, it was one of the best experiences i've ever had uh when going to a movie watching it in the theater so i i like i said this video isn't really a review to convince you to like watch it or whatnot or i don't know why you would do it any other way because it was truly a great film and i just wanted to thank ryan reynolds you know a canadian himself if you're watching i, I don't i don't ever think anyone's gonna watch this anyways but if you did i just want to let you know i'm a i'm a canadian as well we actually have high schools that that are rivals to each other so we we're very very close uh so it was really cool like it's 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 really really cool to see you in the yearbook and and to know that you know we grew up in this like small little town even though it's a city but it feels like a town and you've you've portrayed a great character and you've given the fans a great film so i just wanted to thank you and those who haven't seen it yet stay away from the internet and get ready for a phenombond.com film other than that Guess what? I'm back. Channel's back. If you guys liked it, subscribe. If not, who cares? Because I am just enjoying life right now. I will be uh, giving you guys content on just entertainment. It's not going to be only boxing. So for those who are hoping for another boxing film, sorry. But moving forward, I'm going through life in a, in a different journey in a different way. And I hope you guys are here to, to be along with me. That's it for now. If you guys enjoyed it, thanks. But stop watching this and go see the film, okay? Peace! Peace, 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 peace! Oh.